Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create and set up a Twitter bootstrap project in your NetBeans IDE. Now when you create a Twitter bootstrap project using NetBeans IDE, this way of creating a project will save you a lot of time because it's going to provide you a sample template which is a bootstrap template and this will save a lot of time for you. So let's see how we can create the bootstrap project in NetBeans. So open your NetBeans IDE and go to file here and then click new project and in the new project you can see uh, these kind of uh, you know categories here like uh, Java, Java FX, Java Web and other application. What we are interested in is HTML5 and JavaScript category which is this one right so just click HTML5 slash JavaScript category and then uh, select the first option which is the topmost option from here and then click next and in here you uh, need to give the name of your project for example bootstrap one for example and then click next and in here you can choose the site template and this is the necessary step for creating the bootstrap project so instead of using no site template we are going to uh, choose this option which says download online template and in here you can see the second option initializer bootstrap so you just need to select this one initializer bootstrap there are other options here you can choose for example uh, classic responsive or angular js or other options you are free to choose uh, these options but right now we want to choose uh, bootstrap here right and then click next and in here you just need to leave all the options as default and click finish and now netbeans will download all the bootstrap file for you and it will create a bootstrap project for you now you can see on the left hand side the bootstrap project is created for us and inside the site root folder we have css file in which our bootstrap themes and other css files are there then there is a fonts uh, folder where all the glyphicon uh, files are there and then we also have the image folder this is the placeholder for images and we also have the javascript folder in which your uh, javascript uh, libraries can reside for example uh, bootstrap.min.js which is a prerequisite for uh, you know using bootstrap so you already have all these uh, javascript css files included in your project and you also have the index.html file here you can see now in this index.html file you already have uh, you know sample template for bootstrap you can see all the code uh, related to bootstrap here which you can add it later but uh, netbeans provide you this sample template so that you can uh, kickstart your project right from the beginning so now let's run our bootstrap project so you can uh, click this button to run your bootstrap project but make sure here on this uh, you know globe icon you can choose uh, chrome and then you can just press this uh, green button to run your uh, project and it will ask you to add a chrome extension so just uh, click this uh, button which says go to chrome web store and then just add this extension to your chrome which will allow you to launch uh, this application so just click add to chrome and it's going to add this extension uh, to your chrome just click add and in few seconds it will be added to your chrome browser so now you can see this uh, extension is added and once again when you go to the NetBeans IDE and click this green button once again it's going to launch your bootstrap application on your Chrome browser for example right so as you can see here NetBeans has provided you this uh, bootstrap template and you have your navigation bar the jumbotron here and a few uh, sections here 
and uh, this uh, template you can modify and uh, create your own uh, you know design starting from here okay so you don't need to start from scratch whenever you are creating your bootstrap project in netbeans ide so in this way you can create your first bootstrap project in netbeans ide i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for